I've known you for a while. I was friends with Randall actually before I met you. And um, so I kind of like in a, in a weird position here because I am friendly with Randall. However, I'm sorry. however, I understand what you guys have been through together, but you were together for about five and a half years. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So to back up, you met him in 2015 or 16? Um, December of 2015. Okay. And he was still married, correct? Um, I have learned a lot since the relationship ended. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. You, okay. So you were told that he was separated and getting a divorce. Is that correct? Correct. However, during the first year of your relationship, six months, what is it that he was still working on his previous marriage? Well, I got a, a screenshot message that was dated January 2017. Yes. Um, that he was working on his marriage. Okay. So you had no idea whatsoever, because I don't want anyone to think that you're a homewrecker, because you're not. No, I'm not. Because you went into this relationship knowing, believing Correct. that he was separated from his wife. Right. And that he was working towards a divorce. Correct. Okay. I, I would have, um, well, knowing everything that I know now, I wouldn't have even given him the time of day. Right. Um, my parents were together for 40 years. I believe in marriage. I respect marriage. I would have never even, you know, put myself in that situation. I would have never done that to another woman. So that was a tough one to take when, you know, after our relationship ended and I learned so much, including that in January of 2017, the intent was to work on his marriage. It was like taking a bullet. It was not easy. And was that information shared to you by the ex? Uh, yes. Okay. So she believed probably that you, did she think you knew? Um, I think during, during my time with that person, um, she thought that I, I knew. Yeah. Now we're very much on the same page. Great. So you guys have a, a relationship. Yes. It's good because you have a 14-month-old daughter, Mm -hmm. um, and then Amber and uh, Randall have two girls together as well, so they're half-sisters. Yeah. And do they they have relationships together? I mean, Ocean's young, but... Ocean's young. Yeah. Yeah. But eventually she will have a relationship with her half-sisters, I hope. I hope so. Yeah. Well, you're friends with Amber, so you could always go and see... Totally. 100%. And you know, I have have an older brother who's 15 years older than me, and as we got older, we became close. Yes. So, you know, uh, Amber's two kids are 12 and 8, so Mm -hmm. there will be a significant age gap between those two and Ocean, but my only hope is that, you know, she... She has a close relationship with them. So now you were with Randall for five and a half years. You were engaged after two years? Yes. Okay. But then you, the wedding was actually planned. We were invited, but you had to cancel because of COVID. Yes. Thank God. Okay. So you, all right, you, you have no regrets about that. No, I actually, I, I don't know anyone's religious beliefs. I'm not religious. I'm very spiritual. So I'm not pushing this on anybody. But God took, God took over for well, me on multiple occasions. Well, uh, allegedly there is a, a new lawsuit against your, um, Randall, correct? Um, someone is basically um, saying that they, they gave him a $10 million loan. And, and portions I think of, it was 10.8, yeah. And portions of that loan was What's used. What's They were supposed to be, so they were supposed to be, um, it was for one particular film, right? But then some of the money allegedly went to another film. Is that what's happening? I don't know the ins and outs of it. Um, I was just sent the headline. I don't really deep dive into what he's going through because it really has nothing to do with me. Yes. Um, if you were married, however, you would have been dragged into all of these lawsuits. Oh, trust me. I, when the relationship ended, I, I had people call me to collect money and I said, we weren't married. You got to collect elsewhere. Sorry. I see. Wow. Okay. Um, so fast forward, I, I, I worked with you guys on your house and then Megan did after mm-hmm. me. So I'm curious because you guys seemed very, very happy together when I worked with you guys. What, what changed? What happened? Um, he took there... his dick in another hole. <laughs> okay. But even, <laughs> <laughs> but even before that, it was a very bumpy. I was always very triggered by his presence. We were great when he was out of town and we communicated through texting and phone calls. But the moment that we were actually physically together... 
it was nonstop arguments and I didn't understand why I was so triggered by him all the time. I actually thought it was like me. And um, then Ocean was born and all the cracks were just, I couldn't ignore them anymore. Um, so even though I want to say that I was happy, I have, I have a bird's eye view now where I put all the pieces of the puzzle together and it all makes a lot of sense. I feel like I was just comfortable. I had accepted like this was my life. This is who I chose to be with. Um, my heart feels safe and that's good enough for me, even though I'm like triggered by him always. We, we did a great job of portraying something different to the public than what went on in the house. I see. But you were attracted to him because um, you were saying, well, first of all, look, he's a fun guy. He's a fun, friendly, affable guy. Now, you um, originally were drawn to because stability and security and um, those are the things that drew, drew you to him. What else did you? I just liked having my heart and soul taken care of. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I grew up with, watching my parents. And I just wanted to, like, grow old with someone. That's it. I just wanted someone to protect me, to be loyal to me, who I, like, I would have put Ocean's life on him never creeping around on me. And how sad is that, that all I wanted in a relationship was my person to not cheat on me. Like, that is what I wanted, because so many people are out here doing that. And I just wanted someone who was loyal and faithful. And I thought, like, I had found that, and it's so rare to find that. Um, and so once It's not that rare. To be honest with you, like you I know, really think? I think generally guys, there, there's a lot of very trustworthy, loyal men out there. I know like, I cheated once on Bobby. Yeah. I See, there's one right once. there next to you. Well, damn it. You're gay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> even more reason. Guys, Fuck. All right. So let's fast forward a little bit. So you, you had the baby in March of, was it 2000? 2001. 2021. 21. Sorry. Okay. And Whoa. then six <laughs> months later, there were some, was it some damaging photos that showed up? Um, allegedly. It was seven months later. It was him just walking across the street with two girls. And my intuition was just like, you couldn't ignore it. I immediately was like sick to my stomach. Something's wrong. This person is not who you think he is. And my intuition was absolutely correct. So was he dating? One of those women? Um, one of the girls in the photo he had met in March um, at a nightclub in Miami. He was, a, he was attracted to her friend, but her friend, friend was not into him, so he went to her. That's when they started their relationship. They traveled together. How do you um, know that? Oh, I know everything. How did you find out? Did you talk to these women? Oh, I will never reveal my Okay, sources. fine, fine, good. Okay, <laughs> we'll, okay. We'll protect them at all costs. Okay, fine. So he was he was he d dating one of the, one of these women? She was like his main girl, but like there were many women. There was lots of hoes. There were for sure one hundred percent. Yes. Did he admit that to you? Did he apologize? <laughs> was there any remorse? Um, there was no conversation about it. Um, mm. I planned to leave. He didn't know about this plan. I left, and um, what day did you leave? I left on October 27th. And how many days was that after you found out about the girl in Nashville? Um, I found out on the 15th, so 12 days. So you said that you made sure he felt comfortable enough to leave, and he traveled again. Where mm -hmm. did he go? He went to Miami. And the second he was on the plane, what did you do? Um, I packed my stuff. And he found out the next day. Yes. I got a lot of text messages. Um, cause you know, he wasn't letting me leave the house with ocean during those 12 days. Mm. He would threaten to call the police on me if I didn't return her. And he would give me like time periods that I could take her. Um, cause he knew you were leaving. I don't think he, he knew I was it. leaving. I think he needed to regain control of me. Mm. I'm like shaking just thinking about that time period. It was horrific. How many hours did it take you to get out of the house? Um, we did it quick. I was worried that he was having me watched, which mm -hmm. he did send people to watch me. Okay. Luckily, I, they didn't watch me move out. Um, so I packed my stuff probably in, I mean, four hours. I, I took my clothes. 
Now you You're a eat, slow packer. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of clothes, a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, a lot of bags. Oh, yeah, and then there's and the going baby. Through every drawer, and then going through all of ocean stuff. It was it was a lot. So you were out in four hours. You went to where? Um, I went to an Airbnb mm-hmm. that I had rented. Um, it was one that I could get quickly. Yes. And also one that was nice enough that I would enjoy staying there, but not break the bank. Yeah. Um, and then I stayed there for a little less than a month. Now you were saying, speaking of breaking the bank, that you know you haven't been, you guys haven't been at odds for too terribly long. You're talking about October of last year, correct? But yeah. You've ama- you, but you've already amassed a tremendous amount of attorney's fees. Yeah, that happens. Are you are, are you are we allowed to get the number? I'm just curious. Uh, <laughs> it's high. It's very high. When you say high, do you mean two hundred, three hundred, four hundred more? More. Yeah. Please, that wow. was just last week's mediation bill. Yeah, oh yeah, you're going through it too. <laughs> so everybody's bleeding here. That was just last <laughs> week. That was one day at mediation, please. Yeah, right? No, so, it's a lot. But you can't put a price tag on certain things, if like, you know what I mean. Right. Okay, so you have, you have uh, well, obviously custody. So you, I mean, really, you weren't married. So the only thing you could be arguing about is custody and child support. Is he paying child support? Um, no. Has he been ordered to pay child support? Not yet. Okay. So, um, but there is an agreed upon amount. Yes. But it hasn't been paid? No. Okay. Um, is there a particular day he needs to start paying? Um, it was, it's a couple, almost three months. So it's past due. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but does he know any other way? I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious. I'm not so, the only one. Were you expecting who, it on time? Honestly, I wasn't expecting it at all. Like, even though there was, like, I went into this saying, like, I, I don't need anything. Mm-hmm. But the state of California, you have a child, you're supposed to pay. So that's that. Um, but no, I don't ever expect anything. You what, know? Uh, medical? Is he paying for medical? For no, her? I do. You're paying for the medical? Yeah. Okay. Uh, nannies, clothes, food, you're paying for all that? Um, when she's at my home and I, um, my mom watches her while I work. That's nice. Yeah. Um, can and she watch my kid too? Can I drop her off? One, you tell <laughs> I me like when. your mom. I like yeah. your mom. No, she's yeah. great and they'll have so much fun. Um, so I don't really know what happens at his house and if he, I know that there were many times people that worked in his home were coming to me demanding they get paid. So I hope that he's paying Ocean's nanny. Okay. So when she goes to, so right now she's seeing her dad, correct? Yeah, she sees them a little bit. Okay. And then is, is, it, uh, is there someone there when he's, um, aside from the nanny? Ye- there always has to be someone there or? Yeah, I mean, I'm, yes. Yeah. I mean, I was afraid to be left alone with Monroe, to be honest with you. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> like six months, seven it- months. Yeah. No, it's intimate. Like, babies, kids are intimidating. Yeah, I could do it now. Like, you look at them and you're like, I'm mm-hmm. supposed to keep you alive? Like, <laughs> right. I know. Like, when they're first born. It is very scary, right? I do want to talk about, um, we have to take a quick break, Lala, but I want to talk about, um, I know that you you got sober. Yeah. And um, I'm just curious how that changed everything. It, it, was it prior to you having the baby? Yes. Yeah. I've been sober for th- over three and a half years now. Wow. 